Hey, hey you guys listen we are back with another video and today is all about cleaning i'm telling you i want you guys this week to think of your rental space your apartment i want you to think of that as your home every day this week and it's valentine's week coming up i don't want you to be sad i don't want you to be whatever whether you're single married whatever listen i want you to spread as much love around as you can I don't care if that's to your spouse and make sure you don't leave out yourself because Valentine's Day is one day a year, but love day is every day of the year. So I want you to spread as much love as you possibly can over the next week. I'll be sharing with you all Valentine things that I do for me and my kids every year. And plus, you know, I have a Valentine's Day baby. So celebrating her sweet 16. So that'll be coming in the next video. But I want you guys to treat your apartments like it's your home. I want you to put up your wall decorations. I want you to clean it to the best of your ability. This video is all about cleaning, you guys. I've been finding TikTok cleaning hacks, YouTube cleaning hacks, and I'm gonna share them with you guys. But I want you guys to look, start looking at your apartment as if it's your home. Hear me when I say you are setting a tone for whatever God has for you. That home that you're wishing for, whether it's a trailer home, mobile home, you know, they don't call them trailer homes no more, mobile home, whether that's a, a traditional home, whatever the case may be that you're asking God for, treat your apartment just like that. So I don't know about y'all, but I have new gadgets. I have a new vacuum cleaner. Y'all know I have my new washing machine. And it's just been making my heart so it's the little things that i just be so grateful i just walk through my apartment and just be thanking god for whatever it is that i have you guys because i don't pr profess to say that i have it all but what i do have i'm grateful for it and i'm thankful for it because for one i have a roof over my head so many people are homeless and we're not even going to talk about that but if you got a roof over your head be grateful if you got food in the refrigerator, it may not be what you want to eat, but listen, you got something to eat. Listen, if you got a piece of a transportation, it's get you from point A to B. Be grateful. Be thankful. I'm going to keep saying this because this year I want all of us, all my sunshines, I want the Sunny Squad to be blessed in every area, whether that's your living space, your mental space. All of it goes together, you guys. So I want you guys to take some time this week and I want you, hold up. I want you guys to start to treat your place as if, you know, it's that beautiful home that you've been praying for. With the economy the way it is, sometimes you just got to be thankful and content where you are on your way to where you're going. I ain't saying stay there forever, but for right now, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Stop saying, I'm going to be happier when I get my new home. I'm going to be happier when I get married. Listen, if God take you home today or tomorrow and you don't have any of that, he ain't going to get you to the pearly gates and say, well, were you happy? Well, he going to ask you that, but you can't get up there and be talking about, well, you didn't send me my husband or you didn't send me my dream home. Listen, all he going to be like, did you have a place to stay? Did you have food in the refrigerator? Did you have clothes on the back? That's what's important. If you're not faithful over the few, how can you keep opening your mouth and asking God to bless you with more when you're not even taking care of the little space the little 800 some square feet apartment that you have now. Yes, it may not be the best. It may not be for the price you paying. It may not be up to par. But hear me when I say, if you got a bed to lay your head down, if you got a roof over your head, you doing more than enough. If somebody out there would really want what you have. So that's my little tidbit. Y'all know, y'all say y'all love when I give y'all life lessons or whatever the case may be. But be grateful, you guys, for whatever it is you have. And I don't know. I've been up since five this morning. Y'all Y'all know I get up with the chickens. I go to bed with the chickens and I get up with them too. But i just been in such a great mood to clean y'all yeah, know cleaning makes me feel good anyway but when my space is clean oh honey it's just it's something about that space you guys when my space is clean my mind is clean i can think better so y'all let me know in the comments what are y'all gonna do this week to make your home feel like a home and not be just constantly thinking about, well, I'm going to save this till when I get my home. Or I ain't going to do this until I get my home. I'm getting my pictures ready, you guys, because I'm about to really let the world know 
this is me. This is my dwelling and I'm proud of it. Yes. If you're able to pay your bills, that's the A plus in my book. But I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop preaching. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all gonna be cleaning this week, how y'all gonna be showing love this week, and not just because it's Valentine's Day. I want y'all to get in the habit of showing love every day, 365 days of the year. It doesn't matter what your um marital status is it doesn't matter you are individual before you're everything else wife mother friend sister whatever take care of you first and then fill you up and then fill whatever's overflowing in that cup you give that to your loved ones but fill your cup up first so i love you guys and i hope you guys have an amazing week and i'm gonna b-roll the next next clips or whatever because this is all about cleaning you're gonna see me cleaning all kinds of stuff but anyway you guys i love you guys and everything that i'm using i will link it in the description make sure you always check the description because i try to link things that i'm using so that you guys can find it so i love you guys and let's get to this cleaning yes, yes, yes. Can y'all just say I've been loving my new vacuum clean? It's lightweight, you guys. They have a light on it where I can get up in them crevices. Y'all, if y'all have not tried this baby out, and it's very inexpensive. Y'all, my vacuum clean has been broke for so long. I have been vacuuming my floors with my heart broom. <laughs> I, I had to take it back old school days. But I've been loving this little lightweight vacuum cleaner. I'm going to leave the link to it below because... I'm telling you, it's going to save your life. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tackle clothes. I'm doing a lot of laundry, trying to make sure I get ready for the upcoming week because I don't like going into the new week. I already got six or seven loads. So throughout this week, I've been just doing loads here and there. Y'all know how to do it. Do a little bit of every day. And now I'm just folding because how about your girl? We're doing a lot of loads, but wasn't folding nothing. So here I am folding everything I can think of. clothes i'm about to fold these towels i told you i've been washing but i ain't been folding nothing so now i'm stuck with trying to fold everything <laughs> go figure
All right, y'all, so I finished folding up all the towels, and I'm going to go ahead and put them back in the pantry. Can y'all say I've been really keeping up with keeping my linen closet um, organized and clean? It ain't cluttered. But stay tuned because I found some, some, some things to cover the wire shelves. But anyway, I'm about to show y'all this hack I got from TikTok on so how to make your pillows, how to sanitize your pillows and make them a little whiter because y'all know if you have your pillows for a couple for a little while they ain't gonna be white so you take your pillows and you put two in there at a time i'm gonna put y'all know i put my detergent and all that good stuff up in there and then once i do that and let it kind of lather a little bit then you take two pillows you don't stuff the washing machine put one on each side and then you put the other one on the other side and you're going to put your tennis balls in between so you can kind of keep the shape of the pillars. And then you're going to use Dawn dishwasher liquid. Yeah, I saw this on TikTok. You know I had to try it, honey. But I tried it on my white sheets. And it does make your um, sheets, your whites, whiter. And put the little tennis ball in there. And instead of using fabric sauce in there, you're going to put vinegar in there. And y'all, when I tell y'all my pillars smell so good. Because it needed a good deep cleaning. But now I'm going to go on into vacuuming and cleaning my deep cleaning my sofas. Because it's about time. Yes, 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 as dirty up under there as I thought it was because you know when you have kids so you be finding all kind of stuff up under there but it wasn't as dirty as I thought it was I got this cordless vacuum cleaner because remember it's cordless so I didn't go back in my car because boy when I tell you I don't remember last time I back in my car I know it's sad but I see if I'm gonna do it one day this week but it's raining now so that's out the question but now that I got this little cordless vacuum cleaner I can really keep my car clean It's so easy to get up under your cracks and corners and sofas and stuff and then they have a night light. Well not a night light, but they have a light where you can see stuff and see I'm just getting up the baking soda that I had spilled. But I love it you guys. Okay y'all this last hat you take you a dishwasher um liquid pot you know the dish dish pot put it in there let it dissolve for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you come back and scrub your toilet not only does it smell good but it cleans your toilet bowl so if you got some stains up in there use you a dishwasher pot 
and then clean it out really good and then flush your toilet i promise you your toilet bowl will be real clean i did it on my kids bathroom too but y'all let me know if these hacks are helping you guys if y'all enjoy um these types of videos give this video a thumbs up i love you guys and i'll definitely look forward to seeing you guys on the next video i love you guys and don't forget to have an amazing week